I reckon we'll do the final episode. Well, I mean, we're at the end of the game, so we might as well. We might as well. I mean, we might as well do the final one. I mean, we might as well. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <laughs> not if I can avoid it. <laughs> no head. sister Lily do you even give a shit about us the strays that's why you can't tell me anything it's the ribbon isn't it we're destroying the tree no yeah I didn't destroy it we're not burning the tree snow I didn't say that you know I didn't really say anything to her at that point form, are you Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Back shot. Oh, God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be the shortest episode, though. I think, I think this might... I mean, it might still go for an hour. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. Ever since I was a little lad, a wee lad. And if my envoys are correct. Oh wow! Well, is that meant to scare me? It's a little blicky. Please, sheriff, relax for a moment. Tell him to put the gun away, and then we'll talk. Do you want a drink? Something to eat. Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Can of scotch. Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us what he, he smokes half and pass as well? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're going to make me guess, are you? Very well. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. No. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. I know he did it. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It was Georgie. It's been a long couple of days for you. It was Georgie, all right. Well done, Sheriff. 
I'm sorry, I don't hear you. <laughs> like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you, you do it? He knows where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. Okay, you give me What's Georgie, and you... I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just going to let him do this. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it. <laughs> ensuring <laughs> okay, let's talk. Let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuck us out? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. Oh, bro, I've seen worse. It's all good. All at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. Get the fuck away from me. He's the one you fucking want. This could have gone so well, but you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh shit, Bloody Mary. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh, wow! <laughs> Yo, last time I said the Crooked Man so you said I can have Georgie and now you're beating the shit out of me. Really, Jersey? You want to do this again? I did last time. It didn't... You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you. Oh, I'd be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him now. Ah, man got fucking shanked. Yeah, you want to see my insides? Now I'm going to see your insides. No, oh, shut up. Wrong button. Off Jersey. I'm gonna fucking bash it through your head. No, no. Put it through his head, not hit him, not hit his head. You should probably get your brother some help. Come on, Dorothy. Oh shit. I know. Oh my god! I'm that strong to stop a car? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I ripped the bumper right off. I want to go after the crooked man. Her apes together strong! Oh 
Why am I running like that? Like a gorilla. I'm a wolf. That's Georgie. But I want the crooked man. Gingerbread? Is that Gingy from Shrek? Damn. She ran me over. You're dead, mate. You're cooked. Oh, yeah. Oh, so if you went up to the crooked man... You're too late, big man. She's dead. Georgie. What's it look like? I'm really not in the mood, Big Ben. <coughs> so why don't you just fuck off? Start <laughs> talking, Georgie. <sighs> oh, you think that'll help? I told you I don't want to fucking talk. Especially not with a piece of shit like you. You're gonna fucking tell me why you did this. I didn't do shit to her. She killed herself. She did it. Just pulled her ribbon off, right there. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. Why, Why the hell would she do that? <clears throat> she said she'd... I don't know. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original big bit. The girl with the ribbon. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. Started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. Whoever thought it would end this way. It's not her fault if you used her to keep those girls under your thumb. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. Like anyone could ever tell Vivian what to do. This was our place, Big Ben. She was in it from the beginning. But then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. She felt responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> what her ribbons did to them. Said she'd rather die on her own terms. For something good. Or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh, it didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? Just leaving me get my sympathy. I don't feel sorry for you, Georgie. Of course you don't. Look, I know you think it's my fault that I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine, but I. <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always get a choice. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. And then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good for nothing. <coughs> crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell, I did. Some of the girls decided to pull a runner on us. And the crooked man didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? That could mean multiple right, things. What he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. I had to do it. That, that, that didn't mean kill him. He told me to kill those girls. 
and then he fucking sold me no, out. He he, he, no, you just said he told you to take no, care of it. This would have happened if it wasn't for that bastard. I can't let you off the hook. I'm taking you in. Oh, fuck! Get up. Down! Get up. Don't think so, big bit. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. <laughs> and you said you wanted to see my insides. You crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Georgie sure will remember that. No, he's gonna die. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Whoa, what do you mean by that? Say that again? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Sure it's not. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Yeah, I'll kill him. Yeah, I'll kill him. Hey. Right, Georgie. I'm just ending. I'm just ending his suffering. I'm just ending his suffering. It's like it's like putting down a sick animal. You got to end the suffering. Does that really work? If you're that, if, if if someone's that strong and they can bust a lock like that, fucking, you might, you might, you might as well just call yourself Captain America. That is me. That is my name. The big bad wolf. I'm the big bad boy, all right. You used to be something. Still am. They used to fear you. They still do. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Oh shit, she got silver bullet. No, it's the big bad boy. Oh shit! It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Never had one, bitch! Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? 
Bite a fucking head off. Grab his dick and twist it. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 where'd she go? I'm already in wolf mode, or semi-wolf mode. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like Big B has like, it's like almost like a say, and he's like three transformations. Oh fuck, my eye. Oh, this is just Super Saiyan 1. This is Super Saiyan 1. The big wolf form that we saw earlier, that's, that's Super Saiyan 2. Then he's got his final form. It's also, also like a Pokemon. Different evolutions. Where are you? Coward. Come out and face me. Oh fuck that. Demon! Straight off the ledge, bitch. We're gonna go straight off. Oh, Super Saiyan 2. Well, let's do this. She knows the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Ow. The tag, they're all tag teaming me. invited to this orgy. Oh shit, they're- oh fuck! Ah, eww! Nasty shit! Oh, you nasty, man! Oh yeah! Final evolution! Big bad wolf transformation. Yeah, this isn't Star Wars. I'm not an 80 80. Oh my god, there's so many of them! Oh, 
Oh, you left me no choice. I huff, and I puff, and I'm about to blow every single one of you. think you're so smart. Yeah. Really that's going to work? Did you try to assassin creed me? Stupid bitch. Oh, it's so convenient my clothes are just there. It's so convenient. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's the plan. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Okay. If we at least agree on that, I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. And it's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. No, I don't. Cause that can I'm kill me. A murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women, and I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out, but I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We'd both really, at the, really, at, really, at, when he was about to die. Not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for, and I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Okay. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Okay. I don't need to belabor the point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Then do it. You're Pull the trigger. Reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. <coughs> what do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about protecting Fable Town. Some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? No. <coughs> I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. 
You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. <laughs> We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. That I I'm just didn't kill him? Glad you made it back in one piece. One piece? Wanna walk the day? Wanna throw this the asshole down the fucking well? Yes. What are you waiting what do you have for? To say you for murderer. Yourself? My you killed Lily because, because of Where the fuck do you get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? Said. You're a fucking Sir, crook. Yes. You should be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. And you can have your... Yeah, let her say, you dumb it? bitch. If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little metal book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government. Yeah. And most importantly, its citizens. Let's just see what kind of lies he can make up. charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. <laughs> yeah, Granny's are gonna be happy with me. I kind of, I've kind of ripped his arm off. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, are you gonna get to your point or what? 
Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand. He murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! You've always been a bit of a panda keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? No, I don't believe it. Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. Oh, the tact. Cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. What's he talking about? I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see, you want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking... Yeah, dog. it was Crane. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. Damn, okay, yeah, yeah, I should have burned her tree down. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Her <laughs> grin doesn't look too pleased in that. Right. I can't promise you perfection. No one we'll do can. better. I can't say I care about them because I ripped his fucking arm off. We'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. Yeah, that's right, Beast. Beauty, come over here. Beauty, come over You're here. All still Beauty, afraid of him. Beauty, come over here. Even now. But you needn't be. Yeah, yeah. His contamination Holly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over. Come over. Is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. Fuck you, crooked man. I, I didn't do anything wrong to anti Greenleaf. <laughs> you're all you're all screwed. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. 
The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of mean... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're yes. responsible. You're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, Shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under no. my watch. No, that was under Crane. Right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Protection! Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Ah, oh, he doesn't look too so, pleased in that. You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to you. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Damn, he's playing that card. dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? I did nothing wrong. Who will be the- Bigby, Miss White. Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. No, go ahead. Uh, go please. ahead. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Killed herself. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself. Back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm Nerissa! Really... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! Well, there's your proof! I was in goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. This just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Yeah, good me enough too. for me. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. 
So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up for yeah. somewhere he can never She's cooking. anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good him. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood so we get rid of him. We, get him out of we can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. Look, Snow should decide what we do with her. She's gonna be the deputy mayor. But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. I was appointed? That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Bye. Oh, okay. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. <laughs> I think he should be dead. I think I should kill him. Yes, Sheriff. But we're going to lock him up. Think is right. Everyone, I'm not this way. You're definitely getting locked up now. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. He's done. You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. Do it. All right, do it. Expecting. Morning, crooked man. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking mind. Fuck do you want, Jack? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Really, Colin? Oh no, the wolf is gonna put it up his big fat ass. What the fuck? I'm thinking about uh, killing Porky Pig. Get some pork. I'm hungry for pork. Put some pork on my fork. Yellow Brick Roadhouse? Is that where we're going in season two? 
since season two, two is maybe Wizard of Oz. Oh God! You okay, Sean? Jesus. Yeah, I'm okay. Why? Why are you asking? We only have like five minutes. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Sake, I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Yeah, it's pretty hard to drive a Thank truck you. without keys. I've been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Fuck off, you stupid toad. Oh, I'm gonna kill this toad. Don't be so dramatic. You always ask people if they're okay or something. Not always. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. You know, he was a crying all night, poor kid. If I did ask, are you going to give me a different answer, or are they are? Uh, is it going to be the, the, the same answer as always? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll give it to her. Sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's the willow beetle. That's wow. They're cool. Cause She'll love it. Little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. If you touch me, I'll squirt juice. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. Well, the crying about his dick going smaller and smaller. Plenty of space to run around. <laughs> no, he's crying because I had to send him to the fucking ranch. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the monkey seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Yeah. <laughs> Where's a fucking pig? <laughs> he must be missing. Yeah. He must have run off. Bullshit. <laughs> he must have ran guys. off. Smash. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What? What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, hey, would you Lily do what? and I, we had this plan. We are going to find a way out. What do you mean? Pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I... Yeah, yeah, this bitch better calm Everybody. down. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Give, her a <laughs> Give her a cigarette. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking drug addicts. 
I don't know what happened. She's the crab baby? At the club, yeah, she's a really good actor. And told me things had changed. I've seen her in tears. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So yeah. what if it wasn't... It was, yeah, it was for the best. It was I for guess, the best. I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she that wasn't with her schedule to go, appointment. Go, fat bitch, is a so liar. the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. This is not a... I mean... It, wasn't a, it was a white lie. I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Yeah, same thing. ...fade. Like we never existed. Is it though? Oh. I couldn't... I mean, a white lie, it's like you're lying, but you, it's more like you're withholding Nobody the full truth. Not really. I'm sorry, Marissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do. Oh yeah, I'm fucking stupid. Not I mean, not. Nah, no, nah, I mean, you're not wrong. A white lie is still a lie. It's no just not way, a complete like fabrication. Pain. Both of you, you two make a good team. A white lie is so just, just you you're not telling other. the, you're not giving everyone the full us, story. You don't see that a lot these days. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us. Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was. Oh, I'm some good. He's done some good here. You've changed this place, for better or worse. I can't wait until season two of this. Season two of this is gonna be so cool. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith Warlock. Wait, no. Wait a minute. The game you're playing right now is called The Wolf Among Us. Are we the wolf among them? War one, two. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? You Maybe might be onto something you there. You might be onto something. He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Oh, so it's such a good ending. Like, this game came out so many years ago. It came out nearly 10 years ago or something. And the ending gets me every time. Like, you find out that Nerissa... We're the wolf? Well, yeah. We're, we're the big bad wolf. I mean, because, like, if you didn't understand it, like, Nerissa's meant to be... Narissa is Faith. The way I took the ending is that Faith never died. Narissa died. So the first body was Narissa glamming to look like Faith. Second body was was Lily. But Narissa was the Narissa that we know, well the one that we just saw, was Faith in disguise. 
That that's all. I, that's what I gathered from. Who's Narissa? The the chick we just talked to. She's meant to be the Little Mermaid. Uh, see if we can find her here. That one there, Narissa. Narissa. That's meant to be the Little Mermaid. My my the theory that I've stuck with and what everyone has is that the Faith there, Faith, the one that's dead, she's actually not dead. She's actually alive, but disguised as Nerissa. And Nerissa was the one that actually died at the beginning of the game. But she, she was in disguise of Faith. That's the way I took the ending. And what, and what a lot of other theorists have... And a lot of other, what other videos came to the conclusion of. Because that's what that whole ending was about when she goes, Oh, you're, you're, not a, you're, not the, you're not as bad as what everyone says you are. Faith said that at the real beginning of the game. Continue the story. I still can't believe this is an actual fucking comic book. I'm definitely going with your theories. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's true. But I mean, I don't know if we're going to get that in Season 2. So when Season 2 comes out, it's meant to be Wizard of Oz themed. 